Okay, so uh, this is the histogram of the uh, uh, distribution. This histogram shows you the distribution of the key statistic that you obtain, right? Uh, for all the combinations, okay? So now we're going to see where is the position of our observed uh, test statistic. So for that one, you basically just need to do a t-test of uh, control and treatment. Oh, I forgot one thing. In this case, uh, okay, it doesn't matter. Um, you, you could use equal variance assumption or not, uh, doesn't really matter here. Um, so over here, you have then the statistic line. So, let's see, okay, minus 2.68 something, okay. All right, so I can actually uh, put that in, A, B line, B equals to minus 2.683, run that, okay. So it's, it's over here, right, okay. So it's over here, that means your, the p-value that you need to calculate will be towards the left side, right? Whatever you observe, equal to or more extreme than it, right? So, uh, let me see. So this is, uh, I can actually call this my p-o-b-s. Okay. My observed uh, test statistic. So I want to count how many of the permutation T is actually less than or equals to the OBS, right? Uh, I basically use less than or equals to because my, uh, uh, my T OBS is negative, right? So the more extreme side is on the left side, okay? You sum this, okay? This, you add up all the uh, cases. And then you divide by, here is the uh, number, the n code is the length, right? Okay, so that is the number of combinations, right? And then you multiply by two, okay? So, let's look at this value here. Oh, forgot to run this. Okay. Again. Okay, all right, so it's 0 0.1, yeah? So the p-value that you got here is actually 0 0.1. Now, if you, you let's compare it against the p-value that you get. If you had just simply used a t-test, right? Uh, okay. Treatment. If you had just simply used a treat, uh, this uh, treatment, right? Okay, your p-value is actually quite borderline, 0 0.06. Okay, whereas, uh, but this p-value is actually not, not so reliable because uh, the assumptions that, that uh, are required for you to believe that it is really this value, they cannot be checked, all right? Okay, and cannot be checked, and also you don't know whether the distribution of the T statistic actually follows the T distribution, right? So in this case, uh, whatever that you got here is actually exact, right? So this value here is actually uh, the one that you should believe, okay, about the test of inference. So in this case here, there is actually no evidence that um, the, the uh, sample mean for the two populations, they differ significantly, right? No evidence, your p-value is uh, 0 0.1, right? Not small enough. Okay, so uh, so don't worry about this code, I'll, I'll put it up later, all right? Okay, so basically, um, once you understand this idea, you could actually, uh, OK, 
Okay, so once you understand this idea, you could actually uh, adopt it to uh, the case of ANOVA, all right? So that one, uh, I will put up the codes uh, later on uh, Wednesday, right? So we'll go through that on Wednesday, okay? And also, uh, please try your hand on the tutorial four, yeah? Okay, we're gonna look at uh, the discussion uh, later this week, all right? Okay, so that's all I want to talk about, about uh, permutation test uh, for today. Uh, this is a very uh, important uh, theory, uh, development in, in statistical inference. So I hope you will uh, try to master this method. Because once basically you master this method, uh, all statistical inference problems become, uh, with any kind of data analysis problem, you, you are no longer constrained by all those uh, statistical methods that uh, you learned at the uh, first year, second year, right? Uh, although they are still useful when, when the assumptions are met, but uh, in practice, you, you, you become liberated from those constraints. You basically can do statistical inference for any sort of situation, right? So knowing how to how this concept actually works and how to execute it in practice uh, is very is a very valuable skill for for the modern statistician. statistician okay. Right. Okay. So, um, are there any questions from from you? Any questions? Okay, so if you are, there are no further questions, so uh, thank you for, for listening, all right? So I'll see you on uh, Wednesday, okay? And uh, please don't forget to submit your uh, assignment, uh, which is due 5 p.m. today, yeah? <laughs>